everybody. Today I'm going to show you my super quick and super easy recipe for fried calamari. This calamari is the best mixture that I've come across. It is so crispy and so delicious that every time I make it, I feel like I'm eating restaurant level calamari. All it takes is a little squirt of lemon at the end and it is perfection. Let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is thaw out your squid in some cold water. This takes about 20 minutes. You can buy frozen squid in stores like No Frills or Sobeys. Um, sometimes they come as pre-cut rings. Sometimes they come in these larger pieces that you can cut yourself and with tentacles. Now I love tentacles, so um, I tend to buy this whenever I'm able to find it. The batter consists of one cup of flour, one third cup of cornstarch, two teaspoons of sea salt, and one teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna mix this up, and we're gonna toss everything into this Ziploc bag, which is gonna allow us to just Toss the calamari around without really getting too messy. The secret ingredient in this mixture is the cornstarch. This is what makes the calamari come out super crispy. And you can use this type of a mixture for other recipes that call for crispy batter as well. I love it. The next thing we're gonna do is prepare the dipping batter. That consists of one large egg and half a cup of milk. So we're just gonna mix those things together. whisk them in a pan. If you don't want to use milk or eggs in your recipe, you can make a Lenten version of this dip by simply coating the squid rings with some oil or spraying them with a little bit of Crisco before you toss them in the flour mixture. So I've now cut up my squid into rings and I'm ready to dip them in the egg mixture. So I just grab a bunch and put them into this egg mixture and just let them soak a little bit. You can put as much as you want really because we're just gonna take little by little and dip it into our flour mixture. And we are going to take some small amounts at a time of the squid that's dipped in the eggs we're going to throw it into our plastic bag Ooh. and we're going to toss it around. Now squid tastes best when it's fresh and crispy, but obviously you might want to prepare it ahead of time just so you can have your whole dinner ready. So what I like to do is I just turn on my oven to um, a low warm temperature. And when the squid is done, I'll simply put it in the oven at this low temperature until we're ready to eat it. You're gonna add oil to a large skillet, um, an amount that's about half an inch in depth. This will allow the squid to fry a little bit more quickly on both sides. Um, and you're gonna make sure that the oil gets really hot. I like to use a large skillet because it just means fewer times of putting things in and out of it and the oil stays a little bit more fresh during your frying. So now that our oil is hot, I'm going to start taking um, the pieces of squid out of my plastic bag and just start adding them to the oil one by one. Take your time. It doesn't have to be perfect. You 
want to be checking the temperature of your stove as the squid is frying because you don't want it, the oil to get too, too hot. Otherwise, it's going to cause it to burn. Want to flip it over once or twice during the frying because the oil is not that deep. And you can see that they're already getting really nice and crispy. The squid is going to be ready when you see that it's turned golden all around. And you can feel the crispiness when you, when you touch it with the fork. And we are going to remove them from the heat and place them into a, a dish that I've already lined with some paper to soak up the oil. that recipe today. I sure did. Until next time, stay safe. Bye.